Welcome back, friends and followers and transients, to another episode of Kingdoms and Castles with me, Vapor. And I thought I'd pause the game. I literally loaded the game up, <laughs> and this happened. Well, I say literally. I clicked a few things. I put some farms in, and then it happened. Kind of like the beginning of the last episode, and we got this nice thunderstorm going on at the same time. Now we have Sir Sir Noah here, and he's only got two soldiers, so he ain't gonna last very long, but. We're going to put them out there. Hopefully this guy will get taken out though. Because he's the one that concerns me the most. So we'll whack these guys over here. They've not got a chance realistically speaking. Depends which way they go. Now the idea was at the end of the last episode. We were going to build some houses down here. Um, so we can actually get an army going. But that's going to have to wait a second. Here we go. They're causing chaos already, setting fire to everything. Let's see. Yeah, this guy should get taken out, I'm hoping anyway. Okay, you go for these ones. Oh, they're having a go. Have I lost my two soldiers straight away? I think I did. Oh no, they're there. <laughs> now these potentially will get taken out by the archers. Aha, he got took out. I don't think he managed to hit this. I didn't quite see. Wow, got so many things on fire. Thankfully, nothing has burnt down just yet. He hasn't got any soldiers, has he? I can't see them. His health is 38 of 50. Now, the question is there. How do you heal them? I, I'm guessing you probably can't. Oh, they're going to take some of my farmers. Now, right, what's going on over here? They've caused their chaos and they're leaving. Oh, there's another two groups of people coming. Okay, so he will attack. Kind of. <laughs> How are these guys getting on? Okay, they've got through. I'm not too sure where they're going. But we are losing a couple of people here and there. I'm not too sure he's going to get away with his life, though. It depends. He might escape if he's fortunate. Because we're going to be concentrating on these guys. Right, let's whack the speed up. There's nothing I can really do about this. So far, we've not lost any buildings. Oh, we've got a couple of soldiers coming through. I think. I did hear the noise. Yep, there is one in there. He, yeah, he's going away at them. He's almost dead, though. I'm wondering if he dies. Um, do we lose any soldiers that are attached to him? That That is one of my thoughts, which is a little bit concerning. Anyway, let, let's ignore that for now. Okay, we've got this going on. Have we got enough wood? We have. We're going to whack a granary in here. I think maybe here. Let's go, I think there, and we will whack a road through here like so. Fire has claimed a farm. This one likes to burn down, it's not the first time that's happened. Okay, that's in there. I'm thinking it's probably best that we don't train any more soldiers for the moment. I'll assign those two there that we've got, which is fine. This is going to give us a little bit of extra food, but what I'm interested in... Can we remove this? Yes. I'm interested in getting some houses in here. Let's get rid of these trees. Not that I think we potentially have anybody um, that can do any work for us. Let's do a festival. Get that happiness up so we can recruit. Oh, 188 of... 186. Have we lost a house? Ah... It doesn't appear like we have. So how have we ended up with more people? Interesting. But no one is free. I want to build these. So we're waiting a little bit of wood. Let's get the speed going again. There we go. So I think I'll leave a little bit of a gap here. Maybe. Although I'm going to move that wall at some point. Once it, yeah, in fact it's best I actually place that in. Because this wall isn't going to stay here indefinitely. Well, actually, we could. Let's demolish that. Let's put a well over here. There we go. Now, these guys are going to want all manners, uh, manners of things. It's funny because it's a manor house. <laughs> all manner of things like markets and stuff. So I have to bear that in mind. Let's drop you in here. I think I necessarily need that one for the moment. There is somebody working on that, which is great. Right, what have you got to tell me? Anything of interest? 
harvest, mm. conditions, mm. and just had a, a basic hello, which is which is kind of nice. Excuse me, I've suddenly got a little bit of a case of hiccups there. Right, as soon as this comes in, this is going to be fantastic. It's really going to help. I feel like I want to speed the game up, but it won't go any faster. Let me chop some of these trees down. But we really need to focus on walls. We've got tons of tons and tons of stone. We haven't got the people to build. And we've not certainly not got the wood. How are we doing charcoal? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. It was mentioned in the comments. I should probably build a few more bakeries, seeing as the efficiencies of charcoal has improved. Let's have a look. We made 32 food in a bakery last year, so potentially that could be a good shout. But I'm just thinking for the moment to turn one of these off. Just to free up a couple of workers. We've certainly got enough, and it's going to take a little bit of the strain off the off the um, the foresters themselves. Right, this is up and running, but oh, almost up and running. But that takes a worker as well, which is slightly annoying. It never used to, but. They've made the um, they've made a the decision there to do that, which is fine. There we go. This is not fully staffed. Oh, it's two workers. I thought it was just the one. Damn. Okay. No problem. The well has been finished. There's a couple of roads. They're taking these trees out now. Wood is starting to build up, which is brilliant. We have enough, so I'm going to whack in another manor house straight away. I think I might put a market here. Oh, we need a town square. Maybe that one would be uh, more prudent. Oh, I hate when things don't line up. It's really frustrating. What's the radius on this? It is quite far. If I demolish you. If I put you there. It almost covers most of the island. Let me see. Let's, let's think about there. And then a market, which doesn't... Oh, it does have a radius. Okay. But it's going to cover where we need it to. So we'll put a market there. And we're going to need, once um, we have a little bit more resources, we're going to need a library or something around here just to keep them happy. I've not built a church yet, which is interesting. It's usually one of the first things that I build um, once I have the resources. But I've been using a library. Okay, how are we now? 188 people and still 186 beds. It's interesting that they've not moved out. Okay, so I've split my workers up a little bit. It's probably not a good idea to um, put those extra things down. That's waiting for wood. Okay. Do have some wood coming in that direction. Got a lot of farms that are currently not even being used, so... Got to be a little bit careful with the food. But I suppose once these places fill up, they will uh, become farmers, so that's that's kind of useful. How close are we? We're not a million miles away now. Okay, that's all working perfectly. The only thing about expanding your population is the Viking attacks will get more hostile, let's say. <laughs> um, they will become more dangerous. So I've got to bear that in mind. But I, I need the people. There's literally nothing I can do. Unless I scale back on certain operations. But I get a dragon. Oh, it's one of the little ones. I'm not really bothered about that one. Um, yeah, so it's um, kind of a tough balancing act. We need to take this out at some point as well. This is almost done. Let's speed the game back up. Couple more logs. Boom. Excellent. Well, what have you got? Residents enjoy the beach plus eight happiness. Well, that is cool. I didn't even know that existed. Is he going to get taken out? He's getting shot by a lot of people. There he goes. Damaged my wall a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, they've got a little bit of food, a little bit of charcoal. They've not got enough charcoal. Yeah, they're, they're fairly happy, I suppose. He's got four heads of household. Excited about the recent dragon kill. Okay, so they, they're going to need... Well, I mean, I could put a tavern in, but I can probably get both. The only thing is, I'm not going to have a road going round if I do it the way I'm thinking. Wait a minute, you could go in here, couldn't you? Yes. You're not going to give me full coverage, I don't think, but I've got one here as well, I have. Excellent. Is that going to increase the happers? Eh, a little bit. Not too bad. Turn that off. I hate it when it changes the colour of the houses. We've still not got any spare people. This is probably not full yet, is it? 
Let's have a look. Uh, wow, 23 of 25. Okay. Is this a little bit bugged? I might, I might not reading it properly. Well, there is more farmers now, so there definitely is more people. I think these just take so long to build. So this doesn't need much, but they're focusing on the house, which is fine. One, one sees the bill. In fact, I'm not going to build anything else. I'm going to let them finish these things off. Just so I can kind of see where we're at. And then I might start building some more walls. Uh, round of the fire. Come on, guys. It's, just a, it's the ground that's on fire, but we don't want it to spread. Plague has swept. 58 peasants have been taken ill. Okay. Which is going to make them unhappy, obviously. Um, we have some gold, so let's, let's do that. Still making a surplus on the gold as well, which is fantastic. We've got so much stone. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This wood is a continuing battles. Uh -huh. See, we're making a little bit less on the old charcoal now, so we're probably going to have to open one of those up. So we'll get that up and running. What am I doing over here? So you're almost done. Nobody's put the one piece of wood in there that's needed. Okay, that's got five people working on it. That's got f it's got four or five. And this has got five. Okay. So it should start happening fairly quickly. Here we go. A bit, little bit of wood coming this way. Is that the market done? It is. That needs ten workers though. Wow, that is a lot. Where's my other market? That's a town square. I do have, oh, here it is. Well, that has 10 workers in there. Okay. But once I get a few of these houses in this area, the market is, is going to be a real necessity. Okay, you're up and running. You're moaning about charcoal, but I think that'll be fine once the, uh, the market picks it all up. Okay, so that's done. So we're literally waiting for this. Does that mean we have no spare people? It looks like, with the exception of that field, that all those farms are taken up. I don't know if these guys are just carrying their resources elsewhere. Yeah, they are. So does that literally mean we've built all those houses? It's not quite full. But it's like... We've got no one spare as it stands. That's really bad. 236 beds. Okay, so we're not quite full. Happiness is really good. Let's make him even happier. So some people may stay. There we go. 13 people. So I've currently got one spare. See, that's over the limit though. That's, that's the weird thing. So after all of that, I'm actually no better off for people. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's put another house in. And the thing is, I'm probably going to assign a lot of these people to um to be soldiers. I think if I do something like this, I can whack a tavern in here too. And then I can put the, uh, what's it called, the key or the pier in here. And get another house in there as well. Um, have we got the stuff to do that? Yeah. Let's whack them in. So this is going to take a couple of workers anyway. But it is, it's a, it's a real tough uh, like balancing act, especially because you want soldiers, but you also are going to want these towers, which take two people, take four people. So it's just like lots. And then the food is fine. We're getting a lot of plagues. How many hospitals do we have? We've got one here. Is that the only one? We're probably going to need another one soon. I have to see how many people die first. Okay, so they're working on this. They're doing a few bits here and there. They're not kind of focusing on one thing, it seems. That's going to take a little bit of time. I could maybe start queuing up some walls, though. Um, I think we're going to go across here, weren't we? So let's... What happened then? Fire has claimed a windmill. Yeah, that's not what we want. Demolish you. Food. Do we have the resources we do? Is there no... It is kind of covered, to be honest. Let's just put another one in anyway. It's better safe than sorry. 
Right, so we're going to go across there, and we will whack you in there. So we're only going to get a couple more of these in. I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably going to come up here like that, so I'll do that to remind myself. And then the same here. But then we need to build a wall across here, really. Anything that kind of slows them down a little bit, but I'd rather have them tunneled through here, but that's not going to happen at this stage. But at least we're kind of on our way to doing it. In fact, they're building that quite quick, which is interesting. Probably because the resources are over there. Maybe that's why they're going for that first. How many's working on this? Five. It feels like this isn't reporting my information properly. Because if I've got five people working on here and I worked out that I only had the one person spare. See, that one's not got anyone working. But people are up here also working on the walls. So where are all those spare people coming from? Hmm. Something's not quite right there. At least I don't think it is. I don't really like having houses in front here, but eh. <laughs> at this stage, if I was going to go for a kind of a pretty design, I would have played um, this on the easy mode so there's no Viking attacks. Then I could have just built things um, more aesthetically. But at the moment, I mean, I think I have a fairly good map, if, if I'm honest with you. Most resources are close by. It's... um. There's a fair amount of land. There's quite a, quite a lot of water, but we can obviously build on that um, with the piers. How are we doing here? Okay, we're not a million miles away from completing that. Wood, wood isn't too bad. Charcoal is suffering a little bit. We might need... Yeah, we might need another one. Especially once I get this going. In fact, thinking about it, I'm building more houses, aren't I? Can I sneak one in there? That would have been perfect. We had one there before, so we'll whack one back in. I still think the wood isn't quite balanced. I mean, I know there's a lot of things requiring it, but I've got these two. Plus this one over here, and it just doesn't keep up at all. Not in the same way that, that stone is. Come on, finish this off before you start doing those things. They take forever. Where are you going? There we go. Almost there. Getting so close. These Wow, they've done those walls already. A couple of people starving. Well, at least that's the start of the castle wall. I just realised this stuff is going to be in my way. Yeah, it's going to be slightly... Never mind. What was that? Oh, we're a bustling city. Excellent. The land of Vey. Dragon sighted, is that now? It is. The dragon has come to help us celebrate. How kind. <laughs> yeah, that means we've got enough people for them to come and attack us quite quite heavily, I think. He might actually get taken out. Yeah, these are all lining up to shoot him. Oh, he's getting a good beating there. If he sits still like that, he's going to regret it. Uh, I think he's just out of range. Oh, there he goes. I think he set fire to the road more than he did the house. He did. He caught, he caught the house. Ooh. He's going to make a run for it. Oh, we lost something, I think. Well, it sounded like we did. We did, but it didn't come up on here. At least I didn't see it, which is slightly annoying. Um, we'll chuck another cottage back in there. Right, how are we doing for food? Minus 17 compared to last year. Interesting. What about if we put a bakery in? We just have one here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Plus 60. Okay, make your mind up. <laughs> it was negative a second ago. Um, you're complaining about food, but you've just picked some up from here. It does have food here. Okay. I'm not too sure what the, what the issue there was. But, and they have a little bit of food in their pantry. Okay, I get it. Um, we're making enough gold as well. I'd like to see some spare people. So that is now full as well. There's no way once this is built that we will not have any idle people. I have a weird feeling this isn't working properly. 
And I'm not building anything else. I'm oh yeah, I'm building this, but that takes four people. And this has got how many? Three. Oh, what? Oh. Do you know what I've been saying since the very beginning? They need a thing that confirms <laughs> um, that you're going to destroy something. And literally, I I don't even think I clicked it. I mean, I'd have to go back and watch it, but that's just oh, so annoying. And even though the resources are there, I don't think... I think they take them away and bring them back. Hmm... Okay, whatever. Um, this one is now built, but it's not got anyone living in it. 261 beds. Alright. But it's still saying no, no spare people. So technically, if I build something else now, because there's no idle people, it should say to me there is nobody available. Uh, I knew that was coming. Um, let me chuck in another manor house and see what happens. It should say... No, it didn't warn me up here, but it is saying here, which is now not. There's now five idle people miraculously out of nowhere. Well, what is that about? Right, where are the Vikings coming from? Oh, dear, 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 that is too much. Even though I know I can recruit some soldiers, I just don't think. Hmm. I just don't think it's going to make a, a difference, you know? Not against something like that. There's just too many of them. And oh, there's an ogre as well. This is the thing about having a high population. It will get messy. What are you going to attack? See, in the past, he would just attack the closest thing. He's got his focus on something. He's looking for something specific. The tower. Yeah. See, now, the, the the AI there is a little bit more than what it was. Oh, there we go. Now, he may go for another tower. He may go for a house or something. Don't know what he just took out there. A stockpile. One shot. Where's he off now? To destroy some walls? I think that's him done. He's probably going to leave now. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Hmm. Okay, we have 31 idle people. <laughs> I think in part because we haven't got the buildings anymore. It's really, um... Minus 41 wood. Oh dear. That's because we lost the stockpile, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Now, that, I would class that as a bug. It's because the buildings that I was building them reserved it. And now, I have to wait for that to build back up before I can actually replace those buildings, which is really, really frustrating. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode right here, I think. Thank you very much for watching, but until next time, as always, take care.